Today, we're going to take inspiration from Brazilian artist Romero Brito, who is a painter, seriographer, and a sculptor. He combines elements of cubism, pop art, and graffiti into his work and is known for using vibrant colors, bold pattern, and a visual expression of hope, dreams, and happiness. For your Brito-inspired soccer ball, we are going to start with a circle. Don't overthink it. There's going to be so much going on in this picture that if your circle isn't perfect, no worries. Then this ever tricky pattern inside of our soccer ball starts with a pentagon. So I've made five little dots for the vertices of my pentagon. And then I'm gonna connect those dots in that traditional pentagon shape. So I've got that one star pentagon kind of in the middle of my soccer ball. Now I'm gonna take a line going out from all of those vertices. At the ends of those lines, I'm basically gonna turn them into little letter Ys until it meets the edge of my soccer ball. And you might have some like this one up on top that gets so close to the edge that you don't even get that little extra pentagon peeking into the picture. And that's okay. Soccer balls, I think, are one of the trickiest things to draw just because of this very geometric pattern drawn on a round surface. I'm gonna go ahead and outline my outer circle to make it nice and thick and dark. And that's it. That's pretty much the entire drawing. Now we're gonna go ahead and break up our background into different sections. Romero Brito was really inspired by that cubist style, so he rarely just did a realistic looking background. I'm gonna go ahead with this kind of like exploding soccer ball look, um, but you could divide it up any way that you want. After that, we're gonna start to think about color. Um, Romero Brito is known for his bright colors and his bold patterns. Um, so I'm gonna fill in each one of these sections with, with its own color. Um, and some of them, I might even create some patterns inside. So for this section, I'm filling in with light green, but then I'm gonna take my dark green to create a pattern on top. That's a lot easier than trying to draw and color all of those green circles and then color in around it. You just have to be mindful of what colors you're using. So I'm gonna use that technique again over here using a light blue for the background and then creating a dark blue pattern on top of it. You can keep going through your whole picture, um, filling in each section with a color or a pattern. We are not yet using black though. And also you don't wanna make your patterns too small or detailed. Um, you want them to be big and bold, inspired by Romero Brito's work. When you finally finish coloring, you can get a black marker. And if you wanna go back in and add any more designs on top of those color blocks that you added, um, that was definitely a style that Brito was known for. Um, you don't have to add a pattern to every section. Remember, you do want that soccer ball to be the star of the show.